Hey, what's happening? This is Alex, and you are tuned into the Urban Get Down. Just wrapped up the listening party for my man Alex. How you doing today? I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling blessed. Before we get into you know the whole album and everything, I'm like I'm liking your outfit that you got on this Picasso shirt, these pants, these shoes, everything. Like I'm loving your aesthetic. So what inspired your look for tonight? Um, well you know I'm an artist, so I just wanted to express that side of me. You know Picasso, you can't really go wrong. I love the colors in the shirt. And you just, all white, you gotta do it like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. When, when you an artist, you gotta break the rules sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I don't live by the way of the world. I make my own rules. You feel me? I know that's right. That's that's what we about, but honey, baby, listen. We don't uh, make these rules. We break these rules, okay? From a seed, what what inspired you to title the album that? Well, when I when I came up with the name From a Seed, I just thought about my journey, and I thought about the times where I was in my mom's basement, no windows, and I was feeling like I wasn't making progress. And um, but I was really growing roots the whole time, and I wasn't able to see it till years down the line. So I look at myself now like I'm blooming. I feel like a flower. You know what I'm saying? And um. I just, that's what I just think about my journey when I think of From a Seed. Let's not get it twisted because you have been in this music game for a long time. You are a Grammy-nominated singer-songwriter. So how long have you been in the music game? I've been doing music 12 years, um, since 2008. I started, I went to college, Art Institute of Atlanta, got my bachelor's in, in audio production. And, um, I've done songwriting, I've worked at record stores, I've done almost anything you could think of. Toured with Music Soul Child as a stage tech, you feel me? I, I wore so many hats, you know. How many songs did you produce on this album? I produced, it's 11 songs total. I produced, I think, seven, maybe six or seven. You know, some of them I co-produced, some of them I did on my own, like the hookup, I produced on my own. Mix and match, I produced on my own. And then I got co-production on other joints, like Deep Water. One of my favorite songs on the album is Shake. Cause you know, that's gonna be the jam right there. So what inspired that particular song? Shake, ooh, I think I was just having fun. You know what I mean? Like when that guitar come on, blunt. Dun, 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 dun. And, I, and I knew I wanted to have a song where the women just get up and run to the dance floor. You know what I'm saying? I, I think a lot of people like Russ got best on earth. I wanted that song where it's like, come on, and people be finna leave. They be like, no, I got to dance to it one last. So Shake is my attempt at that. What is the most important thing that you want people to take away from this album? The most important thing is just stay true to your journey. You know what I mean? Like, for me, I feel like most people would think I'm insane for doing music 12 years and not quitting, I never wavered, I never had thoughts about quitting. So I think it's just about being patient with yourself, being true to yourself, and um, and just stay, keep working, just keep working. Absolutely, absolutely, I can feel that on a whole different level. And definitely you gotta keep the grind going. Now you started the album with the intro with your grandmother on it, and you did mention in the beginning that she passed away recently, um, and you ended the album with your grandmother. So how important was that for you to start and finish the album with your grandmother's uh, voice on it? It meant, it meant so much to me. Like, I had been recording calls for my grandma for, like, the past seven years. She had been getting older, and I just I just knew, like, let me just keep these moments. Um, so when she passed, before before she passed, I probably I was probably six songs in. And um, when that happened, I was like, man, I really want to make this more important. Like, if I want this to live forever, I want to figure out a way to make her live forever. So I was like, let me start my album off with that, you know, with her voice. And it was her words were exactly what I needed to get across. So I did it without thinking about it, you know. And I do believe that she is definitely shining down on you right now. She is with you in this moment. And I know that she is proud of you, just like everybody else. If you can give yourself, your younger self uh, some advice, what would it be? It would be just stay confident. You know what I'm saying? Don't place your confidence in validation because it's your story. You might, you might share your gift with people and they might not see it. They might tell you that you don't have it. I would just be like, don't even, don't even, don't even ask. Just do it. Just go. Get on stage. You know, put your music out. Just go. Don't ask. Don't ask. Just do it. Y'all heard it first. Right here with A-Leg. Thank you so much for being here with me. And I wish you all the success in the world. Congratulations on your album. She got attitude. Don't push it. She back on that bullshit. Yeah, she always got that good shit She got ass, but they don't touch it She got attitude, don't push it